Chances are, the car you currently own gets somewhere in the range of 20 to 30 miles per gallon. If you're on the high end, you might even feel pretty good about that MPG. There's a problem though. Cars back in the 1920s were capable of getting the same miles per gallon. So what's the deal? With all the technological innovation in the world, how has the realm of fuel efficiency somehow fallen to the wayside? In 1923, the average fuel efficiency of cars on the road was 14 miles per gallon. In 1973, the average fuel economy was 11.9, thanks to the era of land yachts and V8s. In the 1980s, average MPG was able to jump up into the 20s, but since then, it's basically stayed right in the same spot. The Model T, which was first produced in 1908, was capable of achieving 30 miles per gallon. This peculiar miles per gallon problem can be traced to just how technological improvement has affected the automotive industry over the course of the last century. Most engines have gone from two valves and push rods to double overhead cams with four valves. Transmission technology has improved drastically with six, seven, and eight speeds becoming standard. Computers have allowed for fuel injection to become standard as well, and tire technology has decreased roll resistance, and modern design tools has decreased drag coefficients on car designs. All of these improvements should be improving fuel economy, right? Well, yes, but there's something working against them. Wait. Cars are getting heavier and heavier. In 1982, cars weighed on average 3,054 pounds. By 2006, cars added 500 pounds to the 1980s average number and averages are only going up. The reason is twofold. Technology and safety equipment is heavy and our buying habits are changing. All the added technology and safety equipment in modern cars is making them heavier and heavier year by year, meaning that even if engines were able to get more efficient, which they are, their respective car's weight would hold them back. Buying habits are changing too. In 1982, cars and sedans made up 80% of the market. By the mid-2000s, cars slipped to 48% and trucks and SUVs took the lead for the majority. This trend only continues even as we see big brands like Ford eliminating most of their car models in favor of the more profitable SUV and truck designs. The weight gain in this class of vehicles is even worse too. Trucks currently weigh on average 4,712 pounds, a 900 pound increase from 1982. Cars today are simply bigger and heavier, meaning that the overall fuel efficiency is being held back by these other factors. Consumers across the world are shifting to heavier vehicles with faster respective performance. But what if modern cars were as light as cars of the past? Then would they be more efficient? The EPA suggests that fuel economy directly varies based on vehicle weight, so yes. If the average car in 2006 dropped its weight down to 1980s numbers, its fuel economy would jump from an average of 24.6 to 28.7, a 16% improvement. Conversely, if you kept the same weight and just dialed back the better engine performance we see in modern cars, i.e. how fast the cars are, you'd see the same efficiency improvements. If modern cars could shed their increased weight and consumer desired power, average fuel economy would jump from 24.6 to 33.5, a staggering improvement. The final fact of the matter is that the efficiency of modern engines has improved drastically. Stacked head-to-head, -head, there's no competition. However, as the modern consumer demands big jacked-up trucks and fully loaded SUVs, even these more efficient modern engines can't deliver on better efficiency compared to the cars of last century. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our content, you can click here and here. If you want to browse our channel or subscribe, you can click here. And if you really believe in what we're doing and want to make sure we can keep making videos every week, you can support us here on Patreon. Thanks for watching.